Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain about the hydrothermal method. This is a very important method to grow a crystal. Not only that, this is a very important method to grow different nanomaterials in chemistry as well. So in this video, we will understand what hydrothermal method is. We will see how this method is useful for the growth of crystal. And we will also see how this method actually works. So let's start. First of all, let's understand what hydrothermal method in chemistry is. So let's see the language part related to it. The hydrothermal method, also known as hydrothermal synthesis, is a technique for crystallizing substances from high temperature aqueous solution at high vapor pressure. So you can see over here, this hydro, hydro means water. Water. We make a solution of some substance in water and that substance is insoluble in water at 100 degrees Celsius till 100 degrees Celsius. Now if we increase the temperature, the temperature inside this pot or the inside of this vessel hydrothermal apparatus will range from 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. Now that temperature is enough to uh, dissolve the substance. Okay. Not only that, this apparatus or this method also provide very high pressure. Now, the process is typically carried out in a closed system at a pressure greater than one atmosphere and above room temperature. So simply this system provides a greater pressure above one atmosphere and uh, this process is carried out above room temperature. Okay. If the solubility of the solute in water is low, if the solubility of solute in water is low and the temperature is higher than 100 degrees Celsius, the growth from the aqueous solution becomes inconvenient. So if we take some solute which is insoluble in water till 100 degrees Celsius and which is only soluble uh, above 100 degrees Celsius and higher in, at higher pressure, then a normal method is inconvenient because we cannot provide 100 degrees Celsius like that. This concept is just like pressure cooker. So if we put this lid over it and make it airtight and if we heat it, the pressure inside this will range from 100 to 1000 atmosphere. 1000 atmosphere. Now that is a very high pressure. Not only that, the temperature will also increase. The reason for that is Charles pressure law, which says that pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So if pressure or temperature increases, then temp temperature or pressure increases as well. Now, the growth occurs at high temperature and pressure, hence the hydrothermal growth is employed. The hydrothermal growth implies condition of high temperature and high pressure. Okay, now let's move forward. So, the uh, yeah, these theory part are similar. You can see over here, uh, initially, initially, this is still autoclave. Okay, now this is the Teflon, Teflon pot. Okay, we put the solution, we put the solution inside it and put this Teflon pot inside the hydrothermal apparatus. This should be put inside the hydrothermal apparatus, hydrothermal apparatus, the one that we just saw earlier. And uh, the Teflon looks like this. This is a hollow pot, obviously, this is a hollow vessel, obviously, and this behaves as insulating barrier. This behaves as insulating barrier, insulating barrier. So what actually happened in past when this method was, uh, this method was prepared, then uh, that steel autoclave was used without any insulating barrier. And with time, it generated corrosion. It generated corrosion. Now, after some time, the scientists figure out that to stop the corrosion, they need to stop the solution from touching the steel. They need to stop the corrosion from touching the steel. Now, uh, this auto, this Teflon was used as an insulating barrier which does not allow the liquid or solution to touch the steel and this prevented corrosion. Okay. Now, we need to understand about the growth of crystal from hydrothermal method or by hydrothermal method. So, you can read this language part over here. I'll just explain the figure over here. Okay. You can see over here. This is the uh, general outline of the hydrothermal crystal growth process. This is a very interesting one. You get here. So, these, these rectangular red things are the heaters. They are the heaters. 
these rectangular red things are the heaters as you can see over here as you can see over here, these are the heaters to set up the heat gradient okay heat gradient means this is the bottom portion this is the top portion bottom portion is red in color and the top portion is blue in color Button portion is at higher temperature and this blue portion is at slightly lower temperature that is we have maintained a temperature gradient over here. Now here the solute or the solution, solute in the solvent that is the solution is kept and the temperature is increased and as a result of that the temperature inside this pot as well as pressure will increase to a large extent and the solute or uh, the solute will get vaporized and that will go up like this that will go up like this and to grow a crystal a seed crystal is kept over here this is the seed crystal on which the new crystal will grow this solute will just get adsorbed on it adsorbed on it at their crystal lattice and the remaining solute will go down and it will they will again get heat up and they will again go up and as a result of that a large crystal will result that is the crystal size size will increase okay so this is the general outline of hydrothermal method in the growth of crystal you can understand this figure look at here what i have written so from this method single crystal is synthesized from the compound which is soluble only in hot water under high pressure substances like substances like calcite and quartz is considered to be insoluble in water but these substances are soluble at high temperature and pressure so hydrothermal apparatus simply provides high temperature and high pressure growth is usually carried out in steel autoclaves with gold or silver lining so this is the this pot is the steel autoclave okay temperatures are typically in the range of 400 to 600 degrees celsius and pressure 100 to 1000 atm a temperature gradient is maintained between the opposite ends of the growth chamber so temperature gradient is a must to grow a crystal at the hotter end the nutrient solute dissolves here the nutrient solute dissolves while at the cooler end it is deposited on a seed crystal growing the desired crystal here this is the cooler end and here the uh, solute solute is deposited on the seed crystal growing the desired crystal so this is the a general concept of hydrothermal method used in growth of crystal now do you want to see how an actual hydrothermal apparatus looks so let me show that okay so first of all we need to understand how this method is done okay so a beaker is taken in which the solution is made anyways can be put anyways can be put to make it alkaline okay now that there will be the precipitation over here now which is put in hydrothermal hydrothermal apparatus where it is heated and as a result of that the uh, nanoparticles may be created not only crystals or nanoparticles or quantum dots or electrodes can be prepared by this method as well similarly here also you can see uh, the salt equal solution is prepared put in autoclave and put in the hydrothermal apparatus or it is heated where uh, it forms the nanoparticle the required nanoparticle which can be washed and dried now i am going to play a video over here so you can see a video clip over here now the hand you see that is of my friend netra this is the steel autoclave this is its lid this is the autoclave uh, sorry this is the teflon pot after that uh, this teflon pot is filled with solution is kept inside the hydrothermal this is its support this provides the additional strength and this is the lid and we tight it and we make it airtight we make it airtight the actual method is shown in this video you can see over here first of all we make it tight and for additional strength we can do like this and make it airtight this is now very tight okay and after that after that when this system is ready we put this system we put this system inside the oven or the heating apparatus okay so it is being put inside the oven and the oven is closed and after that the temperature is set that's the exact work that's how the hydrothermal apparatus is operated I hope you understood everything about this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.